Yeah, Kelly, how's it going with you, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. How have you been, Jason? Not bad at all. Right now, sweating in Nova Scotia, Canada. It's really hot. We're not used to that. I see. But Nova Scotia, is that is that East Coast? Yeah, East Coast. Top of New York. Oh, okay, cool. So how How's uh, the music scene for you right now? It's uh, slowed down <laughs> probably, what, 99%? Yeah, but you know the the uh, ironic thing is that uh, <clears throat> it seems like I've actually been busier than ever. Uh, you know, we aren't playing live shows, but you know, well, you know, no one, no one is right. But uh, uh, although a few have started up here or there, but uh, there's enough musical projects going on that you know, between writing for different things and. Uh, you know, I've actually I've been uh, part of a couple of other uh, projects. There's a big one called Metal Against Coronavirus. I don't know if you've heard of that one. No, I didn't uh, see that yet. Yeah, it uh, features like a lot of big name players, and actually one of my songs was selected to be uh, featured on the album. So I've been very busy with that. Um, you know, overseeing that entire song. We have some guests. Musicians, we have a guest vocalist from Spain on there, and uh, you know, there's a lot more I can say about that project. And then, uh, you know, I've, I've been doing a few other things just to stay busy. Some guest solos here and there. Um, I did a guest solo for uh, my friends Nimrod down in uh, they're a Chilean, they're down in Chile, a thrash band, and uh, did some guest solos for them with a video, like you know, a quarantine style video where everyone's you know in different parts of the world. Or whatever, and uh, you know, between that and uh, <clears throat> you know, doing, I'm, I'm still getting together with uh, you know, just jammed with uh, my drummer Tim Tim Young uh, this weekend, going over the the I Am Morbid set, you know, rehearsing for that. Um, so I mean, you know, there's 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 a lot going on. Like um, when you go and jam and all that, is it like more relaxed now, or how's the situation? You know, getting along with people in a little room, let's say, to play music. Right. So, well, in this case, it was just me and Tim. You know, so we jam up at his. He has a studio at his house north of LA, uh, which is just a, a you know a couple hours drive for me, and I'm there. But uh, what is it like? I mean, yeah, it's it's less. Uh, I guess you could say less stress, right? We're not preparing to fly out in two days and go play a festival, <laughs> okay. you know. So we have, um, but we have had some time to start writing new material, which is great. You know, that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, yeah, you know, I think things have been going very smoothly, actually. So, in your parts, where wherever you are in the United States of America, how's the scene there musically around you? Like, is it completely? Uh, shut down except maybe bars starting to open again how's, how's it going down there so the scene around here i live in california now so um um our state has been pretty aggressive as far as shutting down early and very slow on opening up um all the all the bars have been closed uh, um and restaurants you know and as well as concert venues anything like that has been completely shut down for you know, it's been months, weeks and months. Um, around here, some local bars started opening up a few weeks ago, um, you know, and I did venture out and hit a couple uh, local bars, which had some live live bands playing, you know, just cover bands, uh, playing different songs. And it was, it was nice to get out and see live music. Mm. But uh, that didn't last. That was only for a couple of weeks. And as soon as the... <clears throat> the incidents of the virus started going back up. They shut the bars down again completely. Okay. So there's there's no live local music around here at all. Period. Do you foresee that like collaborations online? People are doing that a lot now, and it's going to be the new future. Like to see the four people in each corner of their screen on on their YouTube video or something like that. Yeah, exactly that. I believe that's not going anywhere. That's just going to become, you know, more and more popular, kind of a standard format. Um, you know, whatever we're going to embrace, whatever technology we have, right, to keep the keep metal alive and keep music alive, right, and work within. You know, we'll do what we can do to keep it going. 
So yeah, I think video is going to continue to be big. I mean, streaming live performances is something new I've started seeing, uh, which is very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a band here, Suicide Silence, out here in California, and they're doing like a virtual tour right now. So they'll, I guess they'll actually, I don't know how it works, you know, exactly, but they'll do, you know, like they played LA the other night, then they were going to play San Francisco. I think they're broadcasting from the same place. Like they're not actually touring, but. But they're making a tour. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're making like a virtual tour, like a different city each night, and uh, it's kind of cool, pretty cool. And uh, you know, I, I did tune in just to see what it looks like, and it's you know they got a full stage production, man. They're playing on stage with monitors and lights, and you know, the whole deal. It's it's pretty cool, and I, I expect that uh, that you know we're going to continue to see that stuff just grow, you know, exponentially, really into the future. It's kind of like if uh, you make a virtual tour, you can go play China if you like. And you're still playing at your place, and you're making a real world tour. Play Antarctica at your home, like Metallica. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. I mean, I always wanted to play Australia, so now I guess now's our our chance, right? Yeah, just make a video and say uh, live in Australia tonight. Yeah, all good. There you go. Yeah, I've never heard about that. That's awesome. So it's like yeah. that. For uh, I, I'm sure guitar sales and stuff like that, you know, going to your local guitar store to get strings and that is that harder for you now? I mean, it's kind of surreal anyway, going going anywhere nowadays, yeah, because uh, um, I don't know what it's like with you know where you're at, Jason, but um, you know, here in California, it's uh, you know, we have we have to wear masks now, which is something I'm a, I'm a supporter of, I believe in that. You know, you have to follow the science. So, I mean, it's kind of surreal walking to the store when everyone has masks on. In some places, they limit how many people can be in a store at one time. Yeah, we have that right um, now. Our masks are starting this Friday. Okay. Well, yeah. I think that's a good idea. You know, it's solid. And, uh, you know, but then, again, you have to look at the technology. We now, a days, have the option to just purchase everything online. You know, anything you want in the world, you can order online from a website, have it delivered to your home in one or two days, right? So, you know, why go to the store and risk uh, infection when you could just, uh, you know, order online and have everything you need? Another thing, too, with um, being, let's say, more relaxed and being inside more um, and not touring and playing because you used to do that a lot, do you find that now it's you get time to do other stuff you never did in a long time. Yeah. That's also true. Yeah. Cleaning out a lot of the, uh, cleaning out the closets and finding old merch or, uh, old posters and flyers from previous tours. Uh, that's been a lot of fun digging through, uh, old demo tapes and finding, you know, B sides and things like that for upcoming releases. So yeah, there, there's a lot of that going on and it's cool to see, kind of an outpouring on social media from a lot of a lot of bands are doing that now you know kind of digging through the archives and posting old uh oh you know ticket stubs or posters yeah. flyers pictures shows videos uh it seems like the fans have really been enjoying that yeah well, it was a different situation i'm glad you took time to speak i mean a great update with you um it's, it's really appreciated it's been years now since we've talked uh, do you find in California time goes faster? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> You're not sure? I mean, compared to what? <laughs> I, I don't know. When I, when I went to California back in the, um, 10 years ago, from Nova Scotia lifestyle to California, it's really quick down there. And... Um, uh, one of my friends, Claude Schnell from Dio, he, he always um, thought it had been a few years I went, and I told him it was 10 years ago, and he couldn't believe it. He says time goes fast here. So yeah. that's why I meant, you know, time faster there than here, you know, because you guys do more down there. Um, traveling takes, I don't know, longer, I don't know. I mean, maybe because we're closer to the equator, so the Earth is spinning faster here. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I guess it's been about, when, what was the last interview you and I did? Like 2012? So it's been a few years. 2012. Yeah, which shows time goes by. Yeah, yeah, it really has. Um, a lot has happened since that time, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you were playing with Possessed, and uh, you went with I Am Morbid, and, and how's that doing right now for um, plans for the future? Yeah, yeah, that's doing great, actually. Um, this playing in I Am Morbid is, um, you know, right now it's my most favorite band I've ever played in. These guys are, uh, you know, get along great, like my brothers, and they're just the, the most talented uh band members i've ever played with as well uh um i joined them in i guess it was 2019 the first part of last year so it's only been like a year and a half i've been in the band but we've been to uh europe three times since then um uh, twice to uh headline a couple of uh, two different festivals uh, stonehenge fest and uh House of Metal Fest in Sweden, which was really cool, and then mm -hmm. a, uh, a full uh, month-long tour, headlining tour that we did last, I think it was last June, or July, uh, Morbid Fest with four bands, Us, Atrocity, and Vital Remains, and uh, Sadist, an Italian death metal band that was on the bill with us, and uh, that was, you know, that those have all been phenomenal, it's all been great, and a uh, really cool experience. Um, as far as what's coming up next, we uh, have already been you know, invited to, we've been presented with a tour itinerary for, uh, January, 2021, a return to Europe. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at. That's still a little ways off, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, Europe will accept American citizens into their countries by then. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. uh, but yeah, that's what we're looking forward to. And that's where, where our sites are at right now. Awesome. And, uh, I mean, you guys are playing some, Probably the, the classic Morbid Angel as well. Like, yeah. You know, like like the do you guys pick more songs that Morbid Angel doesn't play per se, or do you guys go dig into the archives, or how do you guys go about to find you know certain songs? Sure. Well, that, I mean that's an interesting question. I mean obviously it's it's at David's discretion. You know. What I mean? Oh, of course. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, but that's. Uh, it's mostly songs off the first four records, right? Okay. A, B, C, and D, all the way up to, uh, uh, to Domination, and, uh, um, as well as the, the newer one, the, the I mm -hmm. record. Um, yeah, we play I'm Morbid, the title, you know, well, it's, you know, it's kind of our, uh, song, if you will, right, for the band, off of that record, and then, uh, Mostly just fan favorites off the first four records. Um, I don't know if those are specifically songs that Morbid Angel does not play. Like, I, I think there's some overlap there. Yeah, right? but and back in the day, there are certain songs they, they didn't really touch because of com the complexity of certain songs. Mm -hmm. But you have your major Morbid Angel um, you know, singles and uh, some of them that aren't so um, catchy and... You know, they're all that stuff. But um, when you look at a uh, blessed art is sick and uh, alters of madness and covenant, those are like the most powerful albums uh, made in that metal. Yeah, absolutely. Basically. Yeah. So I mean, we have a we have a set list comprised of those. You know, basically the fan favorites, the big hits, if you will, off those records. Um, we haven't deviated from that very much, but there's been some talk of, you know, um, adding some songs here and there. Um, it's going to be whatever works for the set and, you know, for a live presentation. Well, it's a great band to be in and, I mean, to play with David Vincent and um, the drummer that was in Morbid Angel as well. That's awesome. Yeah, Tim Young. Yeah, Tim yeah. Young. Yes. Yep. And then we have Bill Hudson on guitar, so you'll know him from... Uh, he plays in Doro, uh, his own band, North Tail, as well. Okay. All right. Uh, he also played in Trans-Siberian Orchestra and some other uh, pretty big names. Excellent. Well, Kelly, uh, you have a wonderful day. Uh, hopefully, you have a great weekend as well. And enjoy your summer. Oh, hey, great. Thanks very much, Jason. I appreciate it. It's good catching up with you, man. Hey, no okay. problem. And, and keep in touch. Definitely, man. Stay safe out there, bro. You too. I'll uh, let you know when this um, goes on YouTube. Super. All right. Thanks. Again. All right. Take care. You All too. Right. Bye.